Hello everyone and welcome to another Wizard 101 Craft Guys series video. Today, we're going to be doing Goat Monk. Now, uh, Goat Monk, not a bad spell, um, but not the best one either in the world. It's very, uh, in the middle. It's like, um, not as good as Centaur in regards to damage, but, um, better than, uh, I guess nature's wrath because that's the next closest life spell um, Realistically if you're going for a life spell, you're probably gonna want to go to uh, go for luminous weaver first But you've come to this because you want to craft goat monk not because you want me to tell you not to craft it So this right here is how you craft goat monk now um Honestly, the recipe is not that difficult. Um, I wouldn't consider it difficult at all. Um, the Goat Monk treasure cards, starting off, um, are probably going to be really easy because Goat Monk is not um, Goat Monk is not like um, most of the other lore master spells because uh, Goat Monk is decently common. Um, so realistically you can get the um get the treasure cards probably without too much hassle at all um in the bazaar specifically if not you can definitely find it on mushu enemies um perfect jade and ghost fire now these ones as you probably know you can get from right here you can see uh perfect jade right here and ghost fire right here um really easy that's another two reagents out of the way and we're moving on Grendel weed now Grendel weed is going to be um, One that is uh, okay to get it's not gonna be the hardest in the world basically What you're gonna want to do is besides going to the bazaar and potentially buying it from there You're also gonna want to get frost flowers now frost flowers naturally spawn throughout um, a lot of uh, Wizard 101 in general. It spawns throughout most of Grizzleheim. Um, the instance I'm going specifically is I'm going to Colossus Boulevard. If my game wouldn't freeze, because God, the commons... King's Isle just made the commons a laggy mess, and I don't know how. But, um, yeah. So you're gonna continue on right here. And come into Colossus Boulevard. And Colossus Boulevard will have Frost Flowers. Um, how frequently is a matter of, uh, you know, how many people are farming for frost flowers at the moment, but I'm, uh, sure that if you just go up and down the street, you can find frost flowers. They exist. Trust me. Um, yeah, but the other, uh, areas, um, Grizzleheim has a lot of them just about everywhere. So if you unlock Grizzleheim, that's probably the best place to farm it outside of, um, outside of this. Um, I don't even know if this is that good of an area to farm it, to be completely honest. I was just giving an instance. But, um, I would defi definitely recommend at least trying out Grizzleheim, seeing what it has to offer. Um, frost flowers, uh, you'll need a lot of them, obviously, for a hundred. That's, uh, for a hundred Grendelweed, that would be 1,500 frost flowers, which is why you're definitely going to want to go for Grendelweed in the bazaar rather than just purely out of frost flowers, unless you already have a shit ton of frost flowers, then I guess it's fine. There you go. You can see I found some frost flowers. They exist. I'm not lying to you. Uh, frost flowers do exist in Colossus Boulevard. All right, next is the fish fin now fish fin. I've probably looked at this before, but I'm pretty sure is not Okay, so you can use transmute fin which is from scales. Okay, so if you have scales or you can okay oh, you can also okay No, you're gonna want to get fish fin using transmute fin which is from scales You can also get it in fishing chests from enemies basically a lot of places and you're probably gonna find it in the bazaar kind of commonly because not a lot of recipes need fish fit uh, Next to springs springs are incredibly easy to get trust me. Um the um, Best place as I'm sure you know because we've been here before is From Regent Square now the reason why Regent Square is the best place to get springs is because scrap iron spawns around the entire circumference of the area um the 
it just spawns like right here on the street if you see my cursor um, I mean I'm almost positive you do see my cursor right I'm pretty sure that my cursor is visible uh, I accidentally tabbed out that wasn't what I wanted to do okay so um, yeah okay here you go you can already see we found some um, some scrap iron right here you can see I just got five six pieces of scrap iron which is really good um, it's 15 per spring. You only need 50 springs for this recipe, which isn't too bad. Um, obviously you're going to want to go for it in the bazaar. The bazaar is going to have springs more frequently than, or it's going to be a lot easier than rotting around and finding a shit ton of scrap iron. Cause for this, you would need 300 scrap iron. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. No, that's not right. What did I do wrong? Wait. You need 750 scrap iron. Okay, sorry, I was completely wrong there. Um, yeah, so that's that. <clears throat> now, next on the list is Sunstone. Now, my balance has not unlocked Mirage, so I cannot go to Mirage to show you uh, that you can get Sunstone from the uh, main area, the Caravan Alkali Burrows area. Um, but I can show you some other places to get it. For example, in Zafaria. Zafaria in the Savannah and in Stone Town both uh, have uh, sunstone or sandstone to craft sunstone. It's not a lot, um, but it, it does exist. So, you know, that's probably one of the areas you're going to want to be searching for it. If you can't find it, uh, you, you can definitely find in the bazaar sandstone, sunstone, semi-frequently, because sunstone is a valuable reagent, so people tend to sell it a lot um, for money, which, you know, makes sense. So um, you should be able to find it decently easy in the bazaar. Otherwise, you can just do what I'm doing right now. Okay, you can see also stone blocks can drop sandstone, so that's another plus. Um, I know the sandstone can spawn like right here where this black lotus is, but I haven't seen it in any of the videos I've been to, but I remember picking one up from there one time. Um, so I don't know. I don't think you can actually find sandstone in the waterfront, which is strange that you can find it in Stone Town, but not the waterfront. But uh, yeah, so that's that. Probably the best way to get sunstone is from Mirage. But um, a lot of bosses drop it very frequently. You'll find it. Um, next is Amber. Now, Amber, there's quite a few ways to get it, but um, I'm going to tell you the easiest. I'm not going to go all the way to Aquila because I don't feel like it. Um, the best way by far in the game to get Amber, I won't say by far, but the best way in the game is to farm Cronus or the Sand Squid. Um, Cronus is easier than the Sand Squid, most definitely. Gladiator Demacaris is also an option, but he is more difficult, so um, I wouldn't recommend doing Gladiator. Um, there are the secret bosses in Aquila. There's quests for them at level 90, um, so you'll be able to find them decently easy. Again, I would recommend Cronus. He's not that difficult of a boss, especially if you have a full team, so hopefully you can do that. Um, if not, the other ways to get it are from King Parsley's. King Parsley's drop it when you farm them. Ultra King Parsley's, I think, actually have like a 100% chance to drop Amber, which is really good. I don't know if it's a 100% chance, but it's a really high chance to drop Amber. So that's one way. Second way, Arena Tickets, 2500 apiece. Not really worth it in my eyes, but if you do PvP, that's one way to get it. Third way, Amber Dust and Merle's Whiskers. I believe 10 Amber Dust and one Merle Whisker makes an Amber. And obviously you collect those reagents throughout just questing in general. So um, yeah, hopefully that is helpful for you. Uh, I hope you can craft Amber one of those ways. Um, again, I would probably recommend farming Cronus because Cronus is probably the easier boss that you can get it from. So uh, yeah, there's that. Um, if you enjoyed this, episode of uh craft guide series please drop a like at the sub button next episode will be probably luminous weaver i imagine which is a good spell by the way it's actually a really good spell for life so yep that's it for today hope you enjoyed see you in the next one